So it's uh, February right now, which is prime time ball python breeding. Uh, we're busy rotating our males through our females. We have these clips here with the male and his ID number on each one. Basically what we do is we move the male from one box to the next about every one to two days until he gets down to the bottom and then he goes back up into the top one. So, and we have generally two males for every female in this column. So ideally both males will breed each female ensuring the highest fertility rate possible. And kind of what I'm doing today is just going through and doing some spot cleaning. Um, I am uh, going through and checking the body weight of a lot of the animals. Here's a nice, big, heavy, normal female, um, almost certainly gravid right now. Um, she's not quite in the stage where she's going to be laying anytime soon yet. But I'm, I'm just kind of looking for body weights on all the females just to kind of gauge how many eggs I can expect to produce out of any given rack and, and out of the entire collection. Uh, this female will produce for sure. From what I'm seeing with the females here is that uh, I would say on the average per column, there's 11 females and two males in each column. Per column, I would say on the average, we probably have two females that aren't going to produce at all. You know, their body weights are just a little bit too light. Um, they're just not really looking like they're going to have a productive year. And then, um, you know, on the average, we might have a couple more females that just they look like they're ready to breed, but they just may not breed in any in any given year. So out of every 11 females that we have here, there may be four in each column that don't breed, which would mean that seven do. That's a pretty pretty decent success rate. Um, we average about six eggs per clutch. We've had as many as 16. We've had as few as three. And you can see we keep track here um, of the, the dates that, the, that they're laid, how many eggs they laid, and what morph bred it to them. And then we have other ones like right over here um, if there's a dash sign by it, that's how many infertile eggs were in the clutch. So we had a total of nine eggs laid on 530.08. A dash one means that there's one infertile egg in the clutch and we bred it to a pastel. So that's kind of the, the system that we use. And then as far as these numbers over here, this check mark means that we've, saw, we've seen a male breeding that female. And in the, this case, that male was Mojave number six. Um, and then this means that the female in there is gravid and she's getting close to laying eggs. Let's see if I can pull her out here. She's all coiled up on her heat spot back there. Uh, we keep our hot spots in the back of the cage at about 90 degrees continuously, maybe a little bit of a drop at night. The front of the cage is a few degrees cooler, more like room temperature, which is 82 or 83. And she's not going to lay anytime real soon, but I'd say, you know, within the next uh, 45 to 60 days, she'll lay. I have another female down here, which I know is really close to laying. One thing that uh, you may hear breeders talking about is the, uh, the gravid female glow. Females that are gravid will typically turn a few shades lighter than what they would normally look like. You can see she doesn't have the dark brown colors in here. She's a little bit lighter. And I've seen some normal females that almost look like ghosts or hypos because they lighten up so much. So anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of what we're doing right now. We're not really getting any eggs yet, maybe a clutch every now and then. It doesn't really, the egg season doesn't really kick in until starting in March a little bit, but really April, May, and June, July, and August are our months that we get a ton of eggs. So uh, you can stay tuned for that. We'll be showing more videos on, uh, on our egg production, egg hatching, and, and uh, all that coming up soon. And uh, if you want more information, you can check out our website at royalconstrictordesigns.com.